Hey, Brother Roy here, Old School Bible Baptist Ministries. Okay, who preserved the Bible? Did God do it or did man do it? Let's talk about it, but let's pray first. Father, we love you. We are humbled and honored to be your children. And uh, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the blood that was shed. Thank you for salvation by grace, through faith, plus nothing, minus nothing. We thank you for your word that you inspired, translated, and preserved for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Okay? So, when that question comes up, you really got, you got one way to go or another. Um, and that's going to determine whether you're a Bible believer or a Bible atheist. Here's what the Word of God says. Look in... Uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. Paul says this, And my speech and my preaching was not with what? Enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. One more place. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 20. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid what? Avoid profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so-called, which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Wow. <laughs> he said, we didn't come to you with enticing words of man's wisdom. He said, we didn't come to you with science falsely so-called. We didn't want your faith to be standing and rooted in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. And that's what it comes, comes down to when you start talking about where did our Bible come from. Look, either God inspired the original manuscripts and just threw them down here and walked away and forgot about them and just left the preserving of them up to the best efforts and the what science falsely so-called and enticing words of man's wisdom, just left it up to that and let man do the best they could do with it. Or he kept his promise in Psalms 12, 6 and 7, which say, the words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Isaiah says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Amen. Yeah, it exists. God preserved it. That's what a Bible believer believes. But the other crowd, the Bible atheist crowd, the science falsely so-called, the enticing words of man's wisdom crowd, see, well they 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 want to they want to take the credit for it. See? They 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 just act, and that's why I call them Bible atheists, they act like God doesn't exist. Read any of their books, shelves and shelves and shelves. I've read them. Listen, I, I, I earned that doctorate the, of theology. I had the time. I, I, I've read it. I, I teach manuscript evidence and textual criticism. Read all that stuff. There's not a single word about what God did, how God preserved His Word. No, every single word of it 
is, well, these manuscripts are over here and these manuscripts are over here and we found these and, and, and we got these and we put these together and we thought that and compared these and this and we think and then we over here and then we found one of these and we thought there's no God in any of that. It is all the efforts of fallen carnal man and what did he just say that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God not in the wisdom of men to try to figure something out and do it themselves but in the power of God to keep his word and not only inspire it but preserve it and yes through the translation process amen and that's what we believe but you listen to those guys they act like God wrote the stuff down through it and then just retired, went on vacation, just checked out. You won't find a single word about God in all their shelves and shelves and shelves and shelves of their enticing words of man's wisdom. But see, that's what they do. Uh, those Dr. Bottle Stoppers, those Dr. Smell Funguses, that's what they do. They try to, uh, we try to clean this one up a little bit. Uh, they, they, it, <laughs> They, uh, uh, if they can't uh, uh, dazzle you with their brilliance, uh, uh, they baffle you with their BS. <laughs> Bible stupidity, not the word you were thinking. Dirty mind. <laughs> Teasing. All right. But no, that, that's what they do. That's what all trades do, right? Ivory Tower theologians, they invent vocabularies that they only they understand when when there are plain English words that everybody can understand and that they don't use those they have like a secret code they invent these big fancy words so nobody can understand except them and you got to come to them for the information lawyers do the same thing doctors do the same thing but that's how you can spot one of these crooks that's how you can spot one of these fakes those that are relying on enticing words of man's wisdom. And they will go on and on and on. And when they start talking about where your Bible came from, and as soon as you hear these words, the oldest and best manuscripts, in whose opinion? In your opinion? And you're a Bible atheist? And I'm supposed to listen to you? <laughs> no, no, no. See, that, and, and that... Most, and it's a sad thing, but, but we are living in the days of the Laodicean church. We are living in the days of the great falling away that, that, that the Bible prophesied in the end times when they were just going to fall away from truth. They're going to heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Now, listen, that being a Bible believer today is a very small remnant because the devil's been busy and the devil, because that's another thing. Think about this. When you read all, all of their science falsely so-called and technical jargon about all these different manuscripts and families of manuscripts and how we collated them and, 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 and what was added and what was taken and what this guy said, what blah, 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 you know, where they're taking full credit uh, for themselves and patting themselves on the back and look how smart we are and we did this. God wasn't in it anywhere. You know who else wasn't in it? You read all their work, you won't find one mention in all of their books. What was the devil doing during this time? What? <laughs> they don't believe in God. They don't believe in the devil either. <laughs> you think the devil wasn't busy attacking the word of God, trying to corrupt the word of God, trying to stop the word of God, trying to infiltrate and counterfeit the word of God? You don't think the devil was busy? <laughs> but you'll never read a single word about what the devil was doing when you read those guys. Well, I can tell you exactly what the devil was doing. Just listen to those guys. That's the yea hath God said society. Isn't that what the devil said? The first thing he said to mankind is yea hath God said. He questioned the perfect word of God and that's all those guys do. That's the yea hath God said society and you ask, what was the devil doing? The devil was creating them. The, the devil was feeding, feeding the party line to that crowd so that they could feed that nonsense to you and get you to think that there's no perfect Bible and that the word of God is not your authority, but you got you to come to them and their fancy words and their opinions and 
They use all the blah, 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 blah. And they would try to intimidate you. See, intimidate you with their brilliance and their all their fancy knowledge. Listen, you might pull that stuff on some folks, but you ain't pulling that on old brother Roy. See, and here's why. <laughs> hey, what they know, I know. <laughs> they are not superior to me. What they've read, I've read. That's why they can't stand me. <laughs> That's why yeah, recently you look out here in media and YouTube, they're making videos against me. They're back posts of get. They can't stand me. And why? Because I'm not intimidated. I'm not intimidated or fooled by their by their scam. <laughs> I've, got, I've seen it. I've seen it for years. I know the ins and outs of it. Uh, and that's what they are. They're Bible atheists. They take the same view towards how we got our Bible that an evolutionist takes towards how life came through all these stages and turned into a monkey, and then we turned into a man. That you know, that's they have as much God in their textual criticism and biblical scholarship, they've got as much God in, the, in their books as evolutionists and Darwin have in their books. So, hey, <laughs> you listen to the voice the yea hath God said. Listen to the voice of the serpent who's trying to take your faith away from the 100% pure, perfect, preserved words of the living God. Now, they haven't read what we've read. They've, they've, they've just been brainwashed with the same stuff, this uh, uh, enticing words of man's wisdom, uh, this uh, uh, science falsely so-called, of how man preserved the scripture. Listen, my, man preserved their scriptures. I got a whole stack of them, of fake Bibles over here. But you know what? God did this book. <laughs> Absolutely. They had nothing to do with this. God did this. And he bears witness to it a thousand ways in the mathematical perfection and the history. And we've got lots of other videos. But let us just say that it is absolutely 100% scientifically provable that this book is the is from God and 100% perfect. And uh, we, we, we've, we've demonstrated that over and over and over again as have others. Speaking of others, listen, don't read. I mean, you can read it if you want, but don't believe the party line of the Bible atheists. You want to read some good stuff on how God preserved the Bible? Because you'll never hear anything about God from them. It's just, we did this, we did this, we did this, we're so smart. But if you want to, if you want to know how God did it. I got some recommendations for you. This is actually my favorite. This is uh, Dr. Sam Gipp, Underhand, Understandable History of the Bible by Dr. Sam Gipp. Absolutely easy to read, easy to understand. He doesn't use all those uh, uh, fake doctor, lawyer, theologian terms. He breaks it down and explains it. So, so Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. And he covers everything. This is my favorite. Then, of course, the old OG original. <laughs> Amen. And that's from Dr. Peter S. Ruckman. And that's manuscript evidence. And then he followed that up by a part two called Biblical Scholarship. And these are just 100% absolutely phenomenal these were the first ones I read back in the day. And so then back in the day, when I read Dr. Ruckman, he recommended some stuff. And Gail Ripplinger, New Age Bible Versions. Well, this one will blow your mind, open your mind, and you'll see the spiritual, the spiritual battle going on behind the scenes on this whole issue. Uh, they they don't have, they don't believe in spirit. 
the other, the other side. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in the devil. They don't see the spiritual thing. Why? Because the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, neither can he know them because they're spiritually discerned. They, they, they have no business, no business in the world handling the Holy Scriptures given by the Holy Spirit. The words I speak are spirit and life, and, 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 and they have not even connected to the Holy Spirit. They got no business telling you anything about the scriptures. Now, here's a couple other oldies but goodies. Here is a, a God only wrote one Bible. God only wrote one Bible, and that is by Jasper James Ray. Boy, that's an oldie. It's a little one. It's a little one. It, it'll hook you up real fast. Uh, I'm sure you can still find it, but he, he wrote that back in 1955. Excellent, excellent little just quick study on it. Another good one is uh, the King James Version Defended by Edward F. Hills. Another very good work on the King James Bible. And it's an oldie, but a goodie. Let's see, when did he write that? He wrote that 1956. See, because... 1881, they came out with the RV, the revised version. That is when the when the devil really, really, really ramped up and started attacking God's word. He started coming out with imitations, with the fake Bibles, with the counterfeits to try and flood the market with a bunch of fake Bibles so you wouldn't know the true one that God that God preserved. Amen. So, so uh, now we got some uh, more recent authors, and uh, this is my friend, Dr. William Grady, and this is awesome. Given by Inspiration by Dr. Bill Grady. Fantastic, fantastic book on the subject of how God, again, how God preserved the scriptures. Not the enticing words of man's wisdom and false science falsely so-called. So of the doctor bottle stoppers and doctor smell fungus. And then this this I, this is Dr. Ben Pierce. It's called Valiant for the Truth. And uh, 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 Dr. Pierce passed away. He went to heaven during COVID. Uh, and uh, um, he had just sent me, uh, he had just sent me this right here. Not too many people know about this one, but it's a good one. An introductory level examination of the modern Bible translation debate and a history of the Bible with emphasis on the English Bible. Good little book, simple, not hard to read. But hey, there's a lot more, and I've read them all. And uh, so th there's two camps. There's two camps on this thing. There's the Yea Hath God Said Society, the Bible atheist crowd. And then there's us, all these guys here, King James Bible believers who are just stupid enough to believe that God was involved in this whole thing and kept his word and gave us a perfect Bible. Imagine that. <laughs> amen. Amen. And that's just how that's just how simple it is. Don't get confused with all the technical jargon that's going to go blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. No, look, it. either God did it or he didn't do it. You're going to believe God or you're going to believe the yea hath God said society. Amen. All right. Well, that's all I got before I go. My book's out too. I just got the uh, author proof copies right now. So you can go, you can go on Amazon. You can order, you can order my book. There's some good stuff in there too. All right. Hey. God bless you, and we'll see you in the next one.